Let's hope so. It is a beautiful, sunny September day here in Metro Manila's BGC. It's Bonifacio Global City. And despite some construction noise, which is pretty prevalent just about anywhere in the Metro, I'm surprised today because the BPO that I'm working for is sending me to New York City of all places. And I will be there for two or three weeks working on a project and it's a fantastic opportunity. And the thing about opportunity is it reminds me of a quote I read recently. I think it's Richard Ransom. Luck is the combination of being prepared and having opportunity. And I think that is the case. The more I think about it, the more it, it seems apropos to me. I've been preparing really diligently, effectively, to build a certain skill set to learn this new series of knowledge that I'm taking on in the BPO. And I put in the time, I got prepared, and now there's opportunity. And lucky me, I'm the one that gets the go signal now. Granted, I am also one of only like two guys in a workflow of this nature in the company, I think, that has a US passport. So again, luck, right? Preparedness and opportunity equals luck. A little bit of luck never hurt. So I stopped into the mall today to get some currency converted, right? It's uh, this place behind me. Actually, I stopped in last night and they told me you have to come back with a copy of your plane ticket, your passport, and a third form of ID. They will not give you the money unless you have a valid reason to convert pesos into American dollars. What the valid reason is for, I don't know, but they seem to give me a hard time. Told me to come back at 10 a.m. today, so I did. What did they tell me? No cash. Last night I asked them to reserve and confirm that there would be the cash that I required here at 10 a.m. It's like that in the Philippines. They tell you they get it done, they tell you it'll be there, they tell you whatever. If you don't follow up, if you don't confirm, if you don't get a confirmation number, of which there really is no system for confirmation numbers, you're basically out of luck. Um, you want to plan to do it twice, if not three times. If you're on a tight schedule, don't expect it to go right the first time. And if it does, hey, count yourself lucky. That's just part of that third world element, even in a first world sort of environment like BGC. It is a beautiful sunny October day here in Metro Manila's Port Bonifacio Global City. And uh, you can see that sun, it's just rocking along with other things here, obviously. Anyway, last day in Manila for a couple of weeks and uh, ready to rock. at Ninoy Aquino International Airport here in Manila, Philippines, and I'm getting ready to fly out, and it's always really confronting. Uh, it's very emotional. I never seem to want to leave Manila. It just brings up a lot of feelings. Um, I feel that swelling in my chest when I think about certain things and certain people, and it's just uh, more challenging than I, I expect it to be, it's hard to leave Manila, for me. It's Saturday afternoon, I'm here at about five o'clock for a 7.40 flight. It took me no time to get into the airport, no queue, right through the x-ray machine, no issues. The longest part of my wait so far. It's been at the immigration cashier. I think there's a, a language barrier. Once you go through immigration, pay your fee, if you have a fee, because on a 9G visa, there is no fee. And I didn't know that until today, because I paid no fee. So it's three full security checks to get on the plane. And apparently now they're confiscating umbrellas. So you can no longer bring an umbrella on the plane, at least in your carry-on luggage. For these long-haul flights, Philippines Airlines apparently uses an Airbus A350 
which is actually a brand new plane, super tech, really decked out. Even the economy class uh, that I'll be flying for BPO business travel is going to be somewhat, I don't know, comfortable. Uh, I hear it's got great, super high res, like big color screens. It's like three meals, uh, menus. Um, what else do we got? Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi on the plane. So I'm looking forward to a relatively good 19 hour long haul flight experience on Philippine Airlines. It's actually the first time I've flown anything other than Delta coming to or from Manila. So hey, like I said, change is uh, always good. We'll see. First time I've ever flown out of Manila during the nighttime. Touchdown, New York, New York City, City, baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a great flight, actually. 14 and a half hours, that's it, from Manila to JFK straight. And the new Airbus A350, it was awesome, except there was no Wi-Fi. Supposedly, that flight's supposed to have free Wi-Fi. So it's about midnight. We're in friggin' NYC. We stepped outside to catch a smoke after sitting in the bar for like an hour and, and and when the door opened this blast of like cool almost frigid wind hit us and we're like oh what the hell and it was like really refreshing and kind of a shock I actually expected it to be hot when we walked outside it's just like unbelievable man it's it's like culture shock after almost three years of Manila Pennsylvania. All right, Pennsylvania Hotel. Small room, big bed. That's all you need for a business trip, right? All right, first day in New York, it's Sunday. We are headed down to West 14th Street. It's about a mile. It's close to the uh, office, actually, but, but today we're going to we're going to go shop, clothes, and cigars. Mission one accomplished Cigarville here in Chelsea, in Manhattan. And the guys in there were pretty cool, really nice. They had the cigars I wanted. Everything was ridiculously expensive, including the $15 packs of uh, regular old cigarettes. Unbelievable. Watch out. All right, that's why we're here. That's the office. It's gonna be home for the next two weeks. I'm walking through Chelsea here and got a little turned around and I don't have any data for my phone because obviously it's a Manila SIM. And uh, we've been looking at uh, price plans here despite the fact that we could probably get a SIM from the office uh, on Monday. But I'm using maps.me, which is an app that lets you roam the city and it literally shows you what direction you're moving in at any given time with or without data. My phone right now is set for uh, airplane mode, but maps.me still is being read and uploading somewhere with no data, no SIM in airplane mode. I turn like five degrees, 10 degrees, and it shows me which way I'm pointing on the street. It's a remarkably efficient and awesome application. Stuff like this, man. I love Marshalls. Six branded, Puma low cut socks for six bucks. That's not bad, six pairs, six bucks. Actually, that's, that's damn good. I'm in Marshalls. Thank God, shopping for clothes. All right, Marshalls was awesome. Actually, it took forever. It really took a long time to try all this clothes on. An amazing haul. And uh, man, that was, that was exhausting actually, but fun. See this bad boy behind me here? It's Link NYC. That is a 
public Wi-Fi display. That's actually the reason why I have Wi-Fi walking down the street here in New York City. It's pretty cool. Push the button for 911. You can talk to the darn thing. It's free Wi-Fi. Charge your phone here. Wow, USB. City services. It's got a map. And yeah, you can you can talk to it. Nice. Really, really class. It's been way, way too long since I've had some good sushi. And uh, tonight is the night. I'm going. You know, it's really amazing. New York City is the great American melting pot. There's so many people speaking so many different languages, so many diverse looks, so many cultures mingling here. I actually hear foreign languages spoken more than English just walking down the street. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more. It's Manila, baby.